that there was a shooting and there were two police officers involved and so that's why they have that whole well we're packing up the truck we're getting ready to leave our friends and there's another friend that we're hoping to meet up with today but they are possibly having a baby today so we're kind of just waiting to hear back from them to see if it's gonna work out for us to meet them I think they're at a doctor's appointment right now and then there's also another friend uh, that's a little bit more south that we're hoping to meet up with today and uh, the schedule's still very tentative and we don't know where we're staying tonight so yeah everything's up in the air Well, we're off like a herd of turtles. Uh, Timmy said yep. So we did end up meeting with our friend this morning and they haven't had the baby yet and we had some time to be able to hang out with him, which was super cool. And now we're here at this park and the second guy I mentioned is gonna meet us here. We're gonna hang out. Well, it's raining now, and we just hung out with our friend, got to catch up with him. I just realized the window is open outside, in the back. Ah! Oh no! So yeah, it's starting to rain, and uh, we need to go more south to find a camp spot. And so, we have about a two hour drive or so and then we're gonna try to find a, a place to camp tonight. So we're meeting with someone early in the morning, uh, close to Colorado Springs, and then the plan is, after that meeting, we're gonna head into Kansas. Uh, but it could change, so we'll see. Our life is uh, you know, unplanned a lot of the time, and when we do make plans, we hold them very loosely, and uh, that comes up a lot in our conversations about how we're just we're just going with it and all these people that we're meeting up with we're um, like catching up on their their life and asking them how they're doing and asking them you know what are certain areas maybe that they're struggling uh, where we could encourage them and kind of lift them up and and then we share the same of how we're doing and everything and it's just really fun to have like relational conversations and they're not just surface level and all these people that we're meeting up with a lot of them you know we've been friends with for a while or I've been friends with for a while and we're able to go deep quickly and uh, for those of you who are watching that we've actually met up with uh, thank you for taking the time to meet up with us because uh, this this journey has a lot to do with you and uh, you're making our experiences uh, because people are the priority and so thank you uh, for watching but we gotta we gotta go find a camp spot so I'll let you know how it goes. So we took a little detour and I'm showing Taylor the property where um, I used to work. It's a horse ranch and they trained polo horses and I was a ranch hand here and they have a gate here that they didn't used to have and I'm not even sure. It was a, a couple that that owned this place when I worked here and the husband passed away. And so I'm not sure if the wife still owns this property, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Well, it turns out that she doesn't live there anymore and uh, it's a new owner. But it was cool to be able to show Taylor this spot because I worked at the ranch over there and then I lived in a house that's just on this property uh, right next door. So there's like maybe two fields that I just walked across in order to get to work and uh, I told her a lot of stories from there and it's cool to be able to show you. Yeah, it was fun to see. All right, we're going to keep heading south. We got to find a camp spot. Okay, so we still haven't found a camp spot for tonight and it's making me a little anxious and stressed. 
So we're gonna hop into this market, get some dinner, because who knows what time it'll be before we make dinner, and then head south. Okay, done there. Still headed south, and we still don't know where we're gonna camp, but that's all right, because we're gonna figure it out. 5.50 right now. Taylor said she's feeling a little anxious, but we have a tent, so we could park anywhere pretty much and, and just make camp. But we wanna find like a good legal place that we could stay, so uh, we're gonna keep driving a little bit, see what we can find. I would love to just turn a corner and be in the middle of a forest right now. That would be super nice. Well, it's gotten a little darker outside and we're still headed south and we're in a bit of a traffic jam because it looks like there's an accident and so we had to take a detour and now we're off on this other road and and so we're kind of looking on the map trying to figure out where we're gonna find a place to sleep we're still not sure yet and I don't know it's uh, 7 p.m. now sun has officially gone down it's getting dark that's where the accident is up there it's probably hard for you to see but there's a bunch of cop cars there's a sheriff car right there I can see 14 police cars up there and there's a big, uh, another big rig. Hope everybody's okay. All right, we're switching drivers. Yeah! So I was driving earlier and then Taylor ate dinner while I was driving and then we switched and I ate dinner. We're meeting our friend down here at 8.30 in the morning so we're trying to get as close to that location as possible so that uh, we don't have to drive as much in the morning because both of us would rather drive because we're going to be doing a lot of driving tomorrow. I'm not sure how exciting that's going to be. Turn left onto Colorado. You got it. So we just stopped at this gas station here and we're still pretty close to where the accident is and the detour. And I asked the lady inside if she had heard anything about the accident. And see, she said that she just saw on the news that there was a shooting. And there were two police officers involved. And so that's why they have that whole section all blocked off. And there's a ton of different uh, police officers there and everything. So I don't know any more details, but it's pretty crazy. All right, so we pull off the freeway. There's a campground here, and I went inside to check to see if they had any camp spots or how much it was, and they're completely full because it is Labor Day weekend, so can't stay here. We gotta keep moving. All right, so we opened our computer, and we found some BLM land that's not too far from here, so we're on our way to go check it out, and we're thinking, fingers crossed, all right, we finally got off the paved road and onto a dirt road, made it up here into the forest and found a camp spot. So I think it's gonna work for tonight. Uh, we need to get the tent set up and everything. And I think... So we have the, the camp lights set on for the truck. On here it kind of looks like spotlights, but it, it's actually lighting up all the ground around it. And now we have the tent set up on top. Well, thanks for coming along our journey with us today and finding out where we're gonna sleep. If you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button all the way in. Click the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. Hit that thumb war button down below and share this video with a friend to help our channel grow. We'll see you later. Hats off to you.